What's going on, everybody? Judith Hakeem here. This is going to be a vlog. I'm sure you can see the title of the vlog right now. Bob Marley versus the Faggots. Interesting title, isn't it? What well, I'm going to explain to you what this title means. Bob Marley, weed, faggots, cigarettes. It's a small comparison. You smoke them. You freaking smoke them. You smoke them. The comparison I would like to make about marijuana and cigarettes, other than the fact that you can smoke them, is the difference between the negatives and the positive effects of both of them, because they both do have negatives and positives. But the question is, which kills more? Let's be realistic right here. Marijuana has never actually killed anybody. Maybe blew out a brain cell or two. But as far as taking somebody out of this world, I don't believe there's been documentation or report of any of that. Okay? And, you know, my claims for this argument is Bob Marley himself. Now, a lot of people, when you think about Bob Marley, you think about marijuana, you think about weed smoke, you think about upliftment, you think about revolution, you think about just an individual who brought people together, it's pretty much self-explanatory when it comes to Bob Marley and his music. But, as we all know, one of his many habits was smoking weed. So, when you have a man who comes up with this timeless type of sound and countless songs that explains all kind of different subjects it makes you wonder is weed really that lethal and if so how did one of the greatest musicians of our time capture the ears of so many listeners and to change so many things amongst race politics and so on now when you go to cigarettes we have all kind of cancers, mainly lung cancer. And let's not start on the pregnancy thing. How can the form a child, a fetus, and all that great stuff. Yeah, real, real great. But my whole thing with that is, it's being sold in stores. And there's many brands, but all the brands are pretty much the same thing. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a smoker. I have smoked before. Uh, never marijuana, by the way. But I will. Oh, it's coming. That's my argument, man. Like, why would you sell something in stores that could basically, over a, a long period of time, not even long, a short period of time, could eventually kill you, but you have a drug that also has medical benefits? You understand? But as for the positives of cigarettes, um, let's see. Well, you can actually look cool you know, shades, smoking a cigarette, hitting the pack, you know, it's beneficial, you know, looking cool doing that, you know, I like to do that, you know, empty cigarette boxes, just, you know what I'm saying, um, what else, oh, they calm your nerves, yeah, they calm your nerves, you can go like, you have a smoke break, you know, any of you ever had a smoke break before, some of you probably having a smoke break right now, ain't you, mm-hmm, yeah, I know, straight up but uh other than that cigarettes really don't have no positive uh no positives man it's just negative what are weeds positives what is a, a, a positive effect of weed um cataracts old people i mean that's quite obvious but uh you know i'm sure it could be used in different ways it is a herbal Necessity from the earth. Actually, I take that back about the the the, the 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 tobacco really is useful. You know, putting on wounds and you know bruises and all that. It's the damn nicotine that makes the cigarettes deadly. If we just take the nicotine out of cigarettes, then maybe, just maybe, and, and I know it's a special substance they dip it in, other than nicotine. If we didn't get out of the cigarettes, then maybe I won't have no beef against cigarettes. 
Okay, maybe we'll have no freaking beef against cigarettes. To then, I don't know. And you're, 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 you're calling it an illegal substance, okay? But you have manufactured cigarettes in stores being sold to make profit, all right? So, it, it, it's kind of tripping me out. And uh, I don't know if wherever you stay, like, I live in Louisiana, and right now they're selling legalized weed. Legalized weed in stores. And I don't really understand why would you sell legal weed. It has to be something wrong with it. I believe they're dipping in the same substances that they dip in the cigarettes to make it so addictive. And that's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not a good thing. Um, I've, I've, I've talked to some people who's actually smoked it. They said it's the uh, high that they never want to get back on. And um, I can imagine so. But when it all boils down to it, should marijuana still be illegal rather than being legal like a cigarette? Could you hear actual weed name brand, you know what I'm saying, uh, Marley's in a pack, okay? Grass in a pack, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, shouts out to my nigga Charles, man. I was supposed to have been through this blog. We was talking about this shit in my uh, last workplace. Um, unemployed, too. But um, that's my argument, man. So, you know, give me your opinions, what you believe is what and what. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm standing towards the weed rather than the cigarettes. Let's be honest here, people. But, um, you know, just something to handle my mind for a long time. Decided to really just come ahead and do it. Uh, mixtape, hopefully. I don't know. But three songs left. Maybe I'll get more subscribers from this. I'll have more inspiration to do it. But I'm not going to let that be an excuse. Anyways, enough of all that. Judith Akeem. Shall break every chain. The lion of Judah shall break every chain. The lion of Judah shall break every chain. Give us some. The conquering lion shall break every chain. The conquering lion. What uh, kind of importance uh, has the hatches or marijuana in the music to get this kind of uh, sweet well, music? Well, you check it now. If you check it now, um, people, people drink a lot of alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. And they get drunk. Right? No, when you get drunk, you don't really meditate. You're just drunk and you feel miserable. No, when we smoke, it, it makes you cool. You know, it, it, it stimulates your mind and makes you sit down and meditate. Instead, you get foolish, you sit down and then you can meditate and be someone. Herb, um, rum teaches you to be a junker and herb teaches you to be someone. Right? 